This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, September 24th. I'm James Spann. A soaking rain falling over much Alabama this evening. Let's go in there and take a look at some of the Skycam shots around the network. We'll start with a view coming from Trussville. Light rain falling there northeast of Birmingham. The Tuscaloosa Skycam. A steady rain is falling in the Druid City. And down south, looks like rain about to begin on the Alabama Gulf Coast at Gulf Shores. Just hard to get away from the rain, all caused by this negative tilt upper trough. And uh, that's producing some fairly uh, heavy storms down to the south. Uh, uh, there's the radar at 252. And you can see the uh, stronger storms are down in the lower part of the screen below Meridian. And we do note that the guys at SPC have put up a severe thunderstorm watch for parts of southwest Alabama until 9 o'clock tonight. That includes Sumter, Marengo, Wilcox, and Butler counties down to the south uh, toward uh, Jackson and Monroeville and Evergreen and Chatham. And uh, it's kind of a narrow window for severe weather. And the main threat there will be from, uh, from hail and maybe gusty winds. Temperature is nice and cool because of the clouds and rain. The only spot... Uh, uh, not in the 70s. Fort Payne, they've just got 68. Birmingham, 73. Check the instability values. Uh, I'm sorry, this is the supercell composite. Uh, this kind of shows where the better chance of the stronger storms will be. You can see over parts of southeast Mississippi, and again, that little better window of instability is down there over the southwestern part of the state where they posted that severe thunderstorm watch. Still projecting rain amounts of about one-half to one inch with this for most locations, although it looks like maybe some parts of west Alabama could see over one inch especially south of Tuscaloosa. And uh, that rain continues at times tonight into tomorrow morning. Tropics are quiet, and how about an earthquake, huh? Had a uh, little earthquake, I believe it was a 2.4 in uh, Walker County around Cordova. I'm sorry, a 2.8. Uh, and, you know, those are very small, and even most folks don't feel those, but that was reported by the uh, USGS at uh, mid-morning. All right. Model fans, here's the GFS, the Global Forecast System, valid at 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon at 500 millibars. Big trough coming into the uh, northwest United States. That's going to produce a big snow for the mountains of uh, Wyoming, Montana, parts of Idaho. First big snow of the season. Our trough here beginning to move out. There's the uh, GFS look at 1 o'clock. It's got the bulk of the rain east of here. Here's the high res NAM, 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Still a few lingering showers around. And this is 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. It shows North Alabama dry, but most of the showers on to the east of here. So we'll maintain the chance of lingering showers tomorrow morning. Sun may be peaking through tomorrow afternoon. Thursday looks dry. Lots of sun, low to mid-80s. Same thing on Friday. No rain for high school football games. And Saturday, a nice day for college football games around the state. Uh, we'll be around 60 in the early morning hours, maybe some 50s. Highs Saturday, low to mid-80s, 80 to 84. Really nice early fall day. And Sunday looks good, although a cold front is approaching. Cold front there from uh, near Chicago down to about Abilene, Texas. And uh, that might uh, bring a shower late Sunday night, but the weekend looks fine. And uh, Monday, the front just kind of fizzles out. Uh, showers are possible, but uh, they should be few and far between. A week from today, this is Tuesday. Uh, troughing east of here, and that looks pretty dry with a stall front. And again, I guess chance of rain is not zero, but certainly it's not going to be a big rain, and most folks will stay dry. I'll go through a few more days. This is October the 8th. Look at that upper low. This is the second run in a row. The model has identified this. It's a smidgen further east with that thing, and that uh, sends some colder air and probably some showers and storms with that in advance of that. And on the 10th, that's gone. That looks nice and pleasant with seasonal temperatures for early October. A nice fall day, if that's right. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless.